In this lecture, you are going to learn how to load a UI kit view in a Swift UI application. So let's say that if we want to show some sort of a activity indicator view, and we want to use the UI activity indicator view, which is available in UI kit. And I know that in Swift UI, you can definitely use progress view, which is the same thing, but we're just assuming that progress view is not available and we want to use that from UI kit. So how would we do that? Let's go ahead and add a new file. We will call this loading indicator. This will be the name of our SIF UI view that will be based on the UI activity view. I will import SIF UI and I will also import UI kit. I will create a structure and I will call it loading indicator. This is going to be conforming to a UI view representable protocol. The UI view representable protocol allows you to represent views that are in UI kit and make them available in SIF UI. Now currently you can see that it is complaining because UI view representable is a protocol and I am not conforming to the protocol. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go ahead and define the UI view type. What kind of a UI view we are trying to represent? Well, that view is called UI activity indicator view. Great. It still doesn't really compile because there are a couple of other functions that I need to implement. One of the function is make UI view. Make UI view is responsible for creating the UI activity indicator view because that's what we have specified and returning it. So let's go ahead and create indicator or activity indicator view. So I will just say activity indicator view. Obviously you can use any name for the variable that you want. Activity indicator view dot color. It's a good idea to give it a color because by default it is white and you're not going to be able to see it on a white screen or a white background. And now we can simply go ahead and return the activity indicator view. If I go ahead and compile or build again, I'm still going to get an error because we still need to implement another function called update UI view. So the make UI view is going to be fired once when you are creating an instance of loading indicator, but the update UI view can be fired multiple times. And the whole reason for update UI view function is to make sure that you are interacting with the UI activity indicator view. So starting animation or starting or stopping animation, things like that. So for now, I'm just going to go ahead and say UI view, which is already passed to us, which is of type UI activity indicator view dot start animating. And that's it. That's all you need to do to create a SIF UI view, which is using a UI kit view, which is UI activity indicator view. Now this is obviously simple. And the reason it is simple is that the UI activity indicator view does not really have any delegates that we want to conform to. So we don't really have to supply or make that more complicated. Let's go to our content view. I'm going to go ahead and add a vStack, and you will see that why we're adding a vStack. And now I can go ahead and use loading indicator, which is now a view. If I go ahead and run the application right now, if I press the play button, you can see that it is showing us the activity indicator view. This is working. But we also want it to start or stop. So for that, I'm going to go ahead and add a button. 
And in the button, I'm going to say get data. And we're just going to assume that this is going to take a while. But whenever we run the application, you can see that the loading indicator is always showing. So we want to control that. In order to control that, I'm going to go ahead and create a state variable. And I will say loading, which will be Boolean false. I'm going to go ahead and pass in the bindable expression for loading to the loading indicator surf UI view that I just created. Now let's go back to the loading indicator and we will make sure that we are accommodating that. Now, anytime I'm going to change the loading indicator from within over here or whatever the value of the loading indicator is, I can definitely change it over here if I want to. And whenever it's changed, we can pass the value and it can perform something. So over here, I can say if it is loading, then UI view dot start animating. Else, we can say UI view dot stop animating. Let's go ahead and build it. Now for the button, we want to create a scenario where Initially, you can see that loading is false. So when we click the button, we can go ahead and simply say loading equals to true. And after a while, we can perform a dispatch dot main dot async. And we can perform an async. Let's say that it takes us two seconds to get the data that we need. And after two seconds, we can go ahead and make the loading false. So the loading should appear or the activity indicator loading sign should appear only for two seconds. You can see that, that it is appearing for only a brief second and then it goes away. So in this lecture, you have learned how to expose UI kit controls, which in this case is UI activity indicator view, and to use it in your Surf UI applications. If you like this video and want to support my channel, then the best way would be to check out my courses on Udemy. I have a lot of courses, including Async and Await with Actors and Concurrency and Surf, Surf UI course, which is more than 25 hours of content. I also have courses for MVVM Design Pattern, RX Swift, Swift for intermediate advanced developers and a lot more different courses. Check out the YouTube description. You will find the links to the courses and please use those links and enjoy these courses. Thank you so much for your continuous support.